Okay, we're going to show you a few ways of assessing the distal biceps tendon. Um, we start with the anterior approach and then we do the medial approach. The anterior approach, you can start with the musculotendinous junction. If you go distally, you can see the tendon forming on the superficial, on the superficial fascia, short head and the long head. And if you continue to go distally in a cross section, you should be able to follow this slowly all the way through. And then we reach the bones attachment coming up. There's the footprint onto the bone. This is quite challenging, especially if you have a lower end machine. Um, and longitudinal in this plane, in this approach, is also quite challenging. So a good alternative is doing the medial approach. So for that, we put the arm in 90 degrees flexion. We line it up longitudinal with the medial condyle. Then we go straight forward into the forearm. And our eye should go to the radius, which is the cross-section bone there with the articular cartilage on top on the bottom of the screen. And then we go, continue to go forwards, forwards, forwards until it starts to line up. There's the tendon. It usually sits below, deeper to the artery. So here's the tendon and it hits the bone, the radius. Now, if you rotate slowly in pro and supination, you can follow that movement, come back to where you came from. And that's a nice way to longitudinal assess the distal biceps tendon from the medial side. You can always then do a transverse uh, approach by spinning on it. And that's it. So that's the medial approach. We normally prefer that to the anterior approach. It's more consistent, easier to access. Mm -hmm.